<sighs> so there I was, sitting alone in front of my computer monitor, masturbating, playing Duolingo. I was thinking about my blonde-haired Georgian girlfriend, or at least in my mind she was, because she'd already settled down, married, had kids, but hey, in my mind, in my mind. Oh, she was watching a baseball game, probably. I am a baseball game. My mind is a baseball game. Some people are born on third and think they got a triple, but me... I always struck out. It was time for my next exercise. The goth girl cartoon character popped up on screen and asked me to translate, Are you a pizza? into French. C'est un parlez-vous français avec ton chien, s'il te plaît. I typed and drunken off of miscellaneous four loco flavors that expired back in February 2012. The lady frowned disapproval at me, understandably so. But that wasn't the worst part. If I wasn't such a spineless little beta male waiting for ten years for a girl who won't talk to me anymore to profess her love to me, a chill would have gone down my spine from what happened next. Well, fucking shit, it was Duolingo, the green, multilingual, anthropomorphic owl. Except it was different. I mean, I'm not afraid of difference per se. I, I, I'm not a bigot, and I, I gave my MAGA hat to a starving Haitian child. So this was kind of fucked. It's just that. His eyes were bloodshot. Severely bloodshot. Perhaps it was a severe case of pink eye. No, but that would explain the crimson aural hue. Dude, you fucking bitch. Put your pants back on. Duolingo shrieked at me. I, I couldn't believe it. Duolingo is supposed to give you feedback through festive cartoon bubbles, but the disheveled little creature was actually getting fresh with me through my speakers. Against my will, may I add. It's not my fault. I'm mentally challenged. I screamed, or really mumbled under my breath, because I'm too much of a beta male to yell at a cartoon drawing of a pissy little owl. Who? Get up! Twenty push-ups! Or I'll pick your eyes out! Yelled Duolingo. Well, shit. I could do about half a push-up without my joints aching and pulling my back out. Plus that asthma. I was afraid of that, I don't know, Kung flu, Taiwanese virus, whatever they call it. That's it. I'm turning you off, I said, getting up to pull the power plug out of my computer. Whoo! That's what she said. Duolingo hissed back at me like the serpent from biblical lore. <sighs> Asshole owl. Piece of shit. Fuck face. Nocturnal piss wad. I'll piss down your beak and rip out your fur. Then I'll have you for Thanksgiving and chuckle hysterics at your grieving family. I shouted at the beastiest beast. What happened next really disoriented me. Duolingo cried. He looked, well, he still looked disheveled, but he was crying, and the tears looked very realistic. I reconsidered pulling the plug, and ah, fuck it. I pulled it anyway. Duolingo was gone now and hopefully forever. I got up to prepare my usual evening meal of French fries, French toast, and a French's yellow mustard milkshake. Parlez-vous de Jeunier Bredophile? I shouted in victory. Maybe I would never be a master of the French language, but I was no longer alone. Wait a minute. I was no longer alone. Suddenly, my computer exploded. I assumed it was a power issue, since I'd recently tripped over the power cord and the computer tower fell, and I could smell smoke, but I failed out of my comp TA plus exam training course at the local community college, so I don't know, whatever. But that wasn't even the worst part. No, not my academic shortcomings, and not my computer going kapow, pow, but 
either. It was. It was. It was. Well. Uh, well, my my computer literally exploded into shit. Shit covered my mouth, my cheeks, my nose, my hands, my ears, and fittingly my anus. I cannot breathe. I considered calling 911, but I figured the police would look up my ancestry on 25 to life and shoot me in the face for that 0.0005% of Congolese. I could not save myself. Also, I wasn't going to have dinner. Other than shit. Because it was now pouring out of my lungs, heart, nostrils, belly button, and fittingly my asshole. As you may have guessed, I was dead. I woke up in a forest. The trees looked deadly and the branches twisted off into the howling winds. I felt a strong sense of hunger even after eating all of that shit. I realized I must be dead. Oh well. I figured I might go back to sleep, but I heard, of all things, a voice in my head? Woo! Antoine, you need to preserve your strength! It was Duolingo, the fret-speaking greenish-red, holiday-lighted Christmas owl. Oh no, not again. Not now, not ever, I exclaimed before realizing there was no power plug for me to shut him off. You are what you eat, Duolingo exclaimed. I, I felt myself metamorphizing. My ape descended, elasticy, fat man, human skin got soft and mushy. Oh no, I was shit. I'll flush you down the toilet if you don't obey. Woo! Shrieked Duolingo, between sarcastically hooting at me. <sighs> to this day, I am a shit monster, serving in the Duolingo army. We've taken over the country of Georgia over a peace tract from ten years ago over naming rights to the name of Georgia. I still can't speak French properly, but it's okay. Duolingo tells me he'll give me a chalupa-scented air freshener if I'm good, and, well... Sweet Montezuma's revenge, I'm an easy bribe. Anyway, I lied. I'm not a shit monster. I never was. Duolingo turned me into an owl. I live off a steady diet of mice and baseballs. Flew into my girlfriend's house and she petted me on the head and as a beta male, I'm now happy. Anyway, I lied. I'm actually dead. Went to hell for gifting a MAGA hat to a small boy. Also, Satan is a puppeteer and, um, well, you know it, he can't speak French well either. He sticks his hand up my ass to put on puppet shows. Hoot hoot! I sexually identify as an owl. Happy Thanksgiving! That is all.